and then the Clippers second best. All right, we'll keep it rolling, guys. Bucks, Nets, game two. That is tonight, 7.30 Eastern. Fourth, uh, excuse me, 43 seconds into the game, a huge loss. James Harden re-aggravating that hamstring and is done for the night. The Nets still found a way and are up 1-0. As for tonight, Harden will be out again. Here's his coach, the Hall of Famer Steve Nash, with more details. To be honest with you, tightness and, and most importantly is he's out for the next game. So we're preparing uh, for tomorrow night as, as we ended up playing last night and and that's our focus, you know. For James, you know, we obviously uh, are desperate for him to return, and he's a huge piece of what we do in our team. But at this point, I think it would be all guesswork to to really understand. You know, he's had such a little, you know, up and down recent history with it that it's really hard to predict. Are you hopeful of seeing him in this series at all? Well, I'm definitely hopeful of seeing him. Um, like I said, you know, it's a, it's it's tightness, and we've had this history before, which was very difficult to kind of, um, like I said, predict uh, how it will go. So we're, I'm very reluctant to kind of make any prognosis, um, but obviously we're really hopeful that uh, he he heals quickly and and can move past it. Max, let me just say this really quickly before you get... Please, no more superstars getting hurt. I cannot take this. Short off season. I know, yeah, but it's like one after the other. Yep. Hopefully he will be okay. I know he can't go tonight. But Max, how confident you are you that the Nets can get this done without Harden at 100%? Oh, without Harden, it's going to be really tough. The, the Nets with Harden are a mm -hmm. super-duper team. Harden's the most important player on the team. He's the one you saw that when Harden's healthy, they win. They almost always win. When he's not, sometimes KD and Kyrie lose. They don't win as much as you would think. Playoffs are a little different, but Harden is the most important player on the team. Without him, they're not a super-duper team. They're just a team with some stars. But you know who one of those stars might be? And this is kind of the least talked about theme so far from these playoffs, the resurgence of Blake Griffin. Yeah. Blake Griffin was, a, was probably the difference in game one. If this dude gets back to most of what he was, remember, he couldn't dunk for a year and a half, couldn't even dunk it now. Oh, yeah, that looks like Blake Griffin. If, if Blake Griffin gets back to being an all-star or an almost all-star, which he's kind of playing at right now, now it's a different story. I mean, the Nets are so loaded that maybe even without their most important player, they could do it. But I can't say I'm confident that they would beat the Bucs. The Bucs missed a lot of open shots for the Nets to win that first game. They did get a big game for Blake Griffin. Can you, can you count on Blake to do that reliably throughout a playoff series? I don't know the answer to that question. I would just say, with James Harden, they're smoking everyone. AD's hamstring or, or yeah. groin, that's like a hamstring. Look what happened. Harden, with this same issues, missed 20-something games this year. There's a good chance Harden misses this series. Then Blake has got to step up if the Nets want to win. I'm confident because they have Kevin Durant. I'm so sick and tired of this James Harden, Kyrie. Irving. Everything in Brooklyn is about Kevin Durant. Everybody else is a sidekick. It's no knock against the future Hall of Famer and prolific scoring champion that is James Harden. It's no knock against Mr. Box Office himself, the best show in basketball, which is Kyrie Irving because the brother is just a showstopper. It's just the reality that Kevin Durant is on another level. When healthy, he is the best player in the world. He is that lethal, the best offensive player in the world. He, it is just that simple. He is that lethal. Now, I'll tell you this. Here's another reason I'm not worried. Yo, Chris Middleton, how you doing, bro? What's going on, Chris Middleton? How's everything going, man? I mean, I, 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 my name is Stephen A., we cover the game of basketball, even though people like Max look brilliant right now because he said there ain't no big three in Milwaukee. I'm here to tell you, Chris Middleton, there was supposed to be a big three. You were supposed to be a part of that. Six for 23. Really? With no James Harden. You got Joe Harris looking like the second coming of Ray Allen. You got Blake Griffin 
All right, I told you the brother could play. He just didn't want to play in Detroit. That's what that was all about. He just didn't want to play. the biggest story in the NBA. Just, no one's talking about He just right didn't now. want to play, diving for loose balls on the floor, you know, energizing the crowd in Brooklyn like Dennis Rodman did at the Palace and Auburn. Lake so, goes Detroit the money. Silver Dome. Lake play. goes Detroit the, money. The, 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 yeah, yeah, he yeah, Detroit he money. didn't want to play. He didn't want to play there. We, I knew Blake Griffin could still play. He didn't want to be in Detroit. He was playing for nothing. And that's what we're seeing right now because he's interested in playing basketball again, okay? Don't tell me a 6'9", former Skywalker. Walker can't even dunk for two years. You ain't interested in playing. When he, 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 could dunk. he didn't want to play. Okay, but Chris Middleton, back to you. My brother, Milwaukee has no chance in this series if you don't show up. And if you could show up against Miami, how come you can't show up against Brooklyn, bro? How come you can't show up against Brooklyn? What's the problem? Drew Holiday, I, last time I checked, you get paid. What's up? I mean, what you going to do? So I'm just looking at it. And, and, and Giannis Antetokounmpo, 34 and 11, just three times, just three times. But 0 and 3 from the free throw line. That stuff matters against Brooklyn because they don't miss free throws. Yeah, they don't miss free throws. Well, this, this, this is how you got to pay attention to this Chris kind of Chris Middleton going to wind up in the Hall of Fame one day? Well, in the days Hall of Fame, yeah. actually, never you, you know. You think Middleton's going to make – Middleton's going to wind up Max, in the Hall of Fame. Middleton ain't going to the Hall of Fame. Max, he got a chance. <laughs> the, the basketball Hall of Fame, Max? Yeah, okay. I mean, they, come on now. Uh, it ain't hard to get in that. I don't Don't think, get me started let, with let, that. Let, it ain't let, that let hard. Just go on the I don't think Middleton's okay. making the Hall of Fame. All right. I don't think Drew, Drew Holiday's making the Hall of Fame. Okay. Kyrie Irving, James Harden, and KD – are all getting in. If there's a way to get in before the first vote, they'll get in before. You might as well yeah. just put them in now. All right. There's a, there are levels stop, to stop, this. Stop, How are you going to call that stop, a big stop, three stop, compared stop, to this? Stop. No, I didn't say it's a big three compared. I'm saying you're supposed to have a version of your big three. In other words, if Chris Middleton shows up the way he did in Miami, hitting shots that he's supposed to hit, you still ain't Kyrie. You still ain't James Harden, but you're doing your job. And see, that's what you got to pay attention to. See, a lot of times you'll sit up there and you'll look at somebody on their perch. Like the big thing, we know KD, Kyrie, and James Harden on another level. We get that. But the point is when you dissect one team going up against another, it really comes down to everybody doing their job. If they do their job offensively, if they do their job, because the Nets ain't in a top 20 team defensively. No, they miss a lot of open shots, the Bucs. If they do their job, then it's interesting. Remember, without Jalen Brown, Boston was able to steal a game because God showed up one night and helped Jason Tatum. Let me put it this way. Is Chris Middleton the second best player on a championship team or the third best player on a championship team? I think Chris Middleton at his best could be a second best player. But the, the reason okay. he's Chris Middleton is because he's not always right. like that. But, he's but, not Clay Thompson. All right, Max. Clay Thompson's but, but, always but, that. But then, Max, then be quiet about the rest of the series then because he's never going to do that. Right. What I'm trying to say. Don't saying, talk about it then. No, no, no. I'm, what I'm, I'm saying, saying is, is this is what things. you need to do to win. What I'm saying is two things. One, without James Harden, it's mm-hmm. different okay. because we saw that, that we have to acknowledge the Bucks also didn't shoot it well. They had looks that they didn't hit. And two, you say KD is the best player in the world, and then you have to quickly say offensively. And you know why you have to say that? Because pre-Achilles, if he was playing like that, we just say he's the best player in the world right now because his defense was crazy too. He got to be a very high-level defensive player. He will still accept the tough defensive assignment. He just doesn't do it very well right now. KD has that's the part of his game that is not recovered fully. No, no. So that's you're why wrong. you're not that's no, why you're not no. saying he's the let best me, player in the me, world. Let me educate you about something. When you are so prolific offensively, you want to see a team that cheats defensively? It's the team that knows they could close their eyes, have one hand tied behind their back, and they can still drop he, 20 or not. Oh, is that the Warriors? No, no, no. no. Well, Did he play defense? He played high level defense Steve, on the Warriors. But you got to remember, Steve Kerr, different coach. Not Dan Tony with Nash. You're saying Steve Dan Tony's not known for his defense? How about that? The point that I'm trying to make to you is that's what is a different system and it's a different way that they play. And not only that, you got a talk on your front line like Draymond Green that's yelling out assignments and backing and backing you up. They know what they're doing. These brothers are learning on the fly. I'm talking about Nash and, mm-hmm. and Dan Tony. Defensively, I'm talking about offensively, they know what the hell but they're it's doing. It's affecting KD's oh, defense. Oh, but yeah, because but also you got KD coming off the Achilles, and when you play in defense, you're at the you're at the mercy of somebody else. And sometimes you don't want to take that chance again. No doubt. Because you know you can drop 120 in your sleep. I'm saying you can take Are you combo. willing, therefore, so, are, you, so, are you saying KD's the, the best player the, in the world, period, right I, now? I, yes, you, I, I feel that way. Period, no, not I, just offensively. I, I feel that way. I feel that way. But let me tell you this, because I want to get to my point. I want to get back to Middleton. All I need Middleton to do, Max, is shoot 44 45%. That's it, Max. You, take, you make sure you take anywhere from – from 18 to 20 shots a game, you hit about 45% of your shots. 
That is not too much to ask for Chris Middleton. He's done that more often than not. That's not a lot to ask. And that's what we're talking about here. It was a game until they pulled away in the fourth quarter. It was a game. Well, the point is, is that you got the pieces. And, 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 and listen, and don't tell me about big with Milwaukee in terms of playing big. The only guy that plays big in the low post area is, is Giannis at the Tacumpo. Drew Holiday. Drew Lopez certainly ain't going to be that dude. Drew, if James Harden is playing, now they have a problem defensively. Because against a right. bigger guard, Drew is not the same as against a smaller mm. guard, right? Yeah. And he can't guard uh, Kyrie and James Harden at the same time. Who can guard those guys anyway? Once you take James Harden off of the nets, Blake Griffin has to keep doing this for them to beat Milwaukee. I'm not right. sure they can beat them without Fellas, James Harden. Fellas, here's the deal. Game two is tonight, 730 Eastern. We'll learn a lot. We'll revisit this subject tomorrow. Okay. Sound good? Well, I'm All telling right. you, Kevin Durant can take a nap and drop 40. Yeah, we he all take know a nap and He's Kevin Durant. He's Kevin Durant. Okay. You know who he is. We know who, you know who he is. is. Get familiar. Okay. Biggest NFL story of the weekend.